The first time I heard my radio uh, was back in 1986 for my song, There She Goes, and I collaborated with my co -pets. That's when I had the nightclub Glenn's Quarter at Lounge and Treasure Island from 1983 to 86. We entered our song into a songwriting contest, and There She Goes won, and one of the things that we got is that we got played on regular radio. So it was kind of cool hearing your name on the radio and hearing the song, and we've had some other success. We used to have a record company in our time own square mall in St. Petersburg, Florida called Camelot Records. And when we did the songs, they actually played There She Goes on the loop along with Secretly Baby I Love You. And it was really cool because we didn't have any records. We didn't know about pressing records and doing things. But the manager always told me, why don't you press records? We got people who want to buy your songs. So that was pretty cool too, with, along with being on the radio. If I knew back then what I knew now, we would absolutely press records and we would have sold and we could have probably gone a different angle avenue with a different career in going further in the music business. But we didn't know then what we know now. But hearing your song on the radio and your name, you know, it gives you goosebumps because it's pretty cool hearing that.